Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how to wirelessly control a 6 degrees of freedom robot from an Android smartphone. Follow along until the end. Let's dive in deeper. This is the concept I'm using to wirelessly control the robot from an Android smartphone, along with a good communication response between the Android device and the robot. This is the 6DOF robot I'm using, and there are several related videos of mine regarding the robot usage. You can watch my previous videos about it. There are six servos utilized in the robot, which I refer to as the X servo, Y servo, Z1 servo, Z2 servo, Rotate servo, and Gripper servo. For the controller, I'm using an ESP82-66 connected to the internet. Additionally, the ESP82-66 is connected to the PCA9685 as a servo controller to control the servos, eliminating the need for many GPIO pins. To create an application that can remotely control the robot from an Android device, I'm using Kajular, which is easy to use for app development. This allows an Android smartphone to act as a remote control, enabling remote movement of the robot from a distance. For communication between Android and the robot, I'm using MQTT communication. Android will connect to an MQTT broker to send commands, and the robot will receive commands from Android to move each servo. This method is faster than using Bluetooth communication. This is the wiring setup on the robot, where all servos are connected to the servo driver, PCA9685. Then, the PCA9685 is connected to the ESP82-66 using only four cables jumper. Hence, the wiring is quite simple. Here's the code used for ESP82-66 in the Arduino IDE. I'm using several libraries for the servo driver, Wi-Fi connection, and MQTT connection. Make sure to configure the SSID and password for the Wi-Fi connection, as well as the IP address of the MQTT broker being used. I'll share the code in the video description. Please download it from there. Here's the code on Kajular. In the designer, I'm using several button components as triggers to move the servo motors in the desired direction. Other components include MQTT for connecting to the MQTT broker, and the orientation sensor to capture the rotation values of the smartphone to move the X servo by rotating the phone in the desired direction. Here are the code blocks. It starts with initializing several variables that will be used, then on screen initialization, it connects to the MQTT broker. Afterward, it sends commands to MQTT to move the servo according to the button pressed. The message sent to the ESP is in JSON format, consisting of a command type, which is button, and value of button's name, either true or false. Let's run the application. We can see that when clicking the button, it will send the commands to the robot, then robot will respond by sending back the position of each servo, displayed on the feedback label. To activate the control of the X servo by rotating your phone, enable the X gyro. The application will then activate the orientation sensor. Rotate your phone left and right to move the X servo accordingly. Let's observe the response time and see if it's satisfactory or if there's any noticeable delay. In my opinion, the response is quite good compared to using Bluetooth connection. Mm -hmm. 
To move the X servo according to the rotation of your phone, click the Enable X Gyro button and then click the Reset X button. This will enable you to rotate the robot by rotating your phone in the desired direction. To stop the rotation of the robot, simply position your phone back to its original orientation. As I demonstrate the remote control process of the robot, you can witness the seamless communication between the Android device and the robot, showcasing the efficiency and effectiveness of this wireless control system. As I navigate through the remote control interface, you'll notice the responsiveness of the robot to each command sent from the Android device. This demonstration highlights the simplicity and reliability of our setup, emphasizing the potential for real-world applications in various fields such as automation, education, and research. In conclusion, we've successfully demonstrated how to wirelessly control a 6DOF robot from an Android smartphone using MQTT communication and Kajular app development platform. By leveraging the power of ESP8266, PCA9685, and Kajular, we've enabled seamless remote control capabilities, including gyro-based control for precise movements. This setup not only provides efficient control but also eliminates the complexity of traditional wiring methods. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video inspires you to explore further innovations in robotics and IoT applications. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. Until next time, happy tinkering!